Guys, welcome to the new year. We have sitting in here the six foot one white devil, Berkeley Homer. Yeah. Yeah. In the other corner, we also have a big man, Chris Bosch Williams. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. What's up, gang? How you doing, gang? What's, what's up? up okay, what's up, man? Yo, what's up, full time? What's up, guys? Welcome what's up, two time chant? You know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? Welcome to 2022, man. What's up? You, well, doing? you look skinnier. Like, you look smaller. Smaller. He shaved his beard. That's what it is. That's what it is. He lost like forty pounds. Yeah. 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 So that's 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 yeah. You're right, guys. We're back from break. Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year's. We're covering a serious topic today. We have Faith Ordway giving her side of the Bryce Hall drama situation. What basically went down from your perspective, guys? I honestly don't even know like the full story. Like she came on, and I'm still kind of like confused on what really happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's more like a he said, she said type thing, and. Honestly, we're all just waiting for Tommy. To yeah, that's out. what I was saying. Yeah. Like, it's just like, fucking stupid. Like, we didn't need one person. I know, I know. But Chris, like, how would you recap, like, her events so, of the story? From the, from the outside, it seems like Tommy Little invited her to a hot tub stream. She was then invited by Bryce afterwards. She didn't know Bryce is coming. I guess they're talking beforehand, and then they're trying to figure out a plan. They're supposedly fucking, like, the week beforehand. Apparently. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're talking, and then... The, the end end game is to kiss for the end of the stream. She doesn't want to do that. Apparently, Bryce calls her pussy. And then... Uh, she walks off. She and walks she, off. Yeah. And then when she walks off, they're on stream still talking about her. Because, and then saying that she wanted to fuck him that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. So but he apparently said that was... That was, yeah. was, didn't actually happen. They talks about it on our podcast. That podcast will be linked down below. This is a clip from that. Dude, but she literally fucking, just... This is ridiculous. Yeah, Tommy Uno is the only person that can actually come out and clear this up. And we're going to try to get him on a podcast. What the fuck, Tommy? Yeah, Tommy, come on. But guys, let's check it out. This is face side of the entire story. So guys, enjoy this clip from that podcast. The full episode is linked down below. It's down below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. Peace. Bye. Where did you first like see the the, the streams, and the Twitch streams? I heard about like the hot tub streams and stuff, so I understood like what the content was, but I didn't think like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be making out with Tommy because I'm pretty sure Tommy would know like I'm not yeah. gonna do that, or I didn't even know that Bryce was actually gonna be invited. So have you and Bryce like ever like kissed or anything like before to then where it would be a me and Bryce have kissed before but the thing is there was nothing intimate that went on between either of those nights the nights that we filmed for the YouTube video or the night that we filmed um for the stream it'd be oh fucked up if like the same day you know I was just like kissing him and then we get on there and I'm like you no, you know this this wasn't some sort of same day thing or anything like that everything was like fine the day that we filmed for youtube you know it was a little awkward but i thought it was done and over with and basically right before we were about to stream literally like five seconds before tommy was like okay just make sure that you ended off with a bang you know what what is your guys's plan before the stream starts yeah before the stream starts and bryce was like well maybe if faith wasn't a pussy and that's why i was like triggered i was like why why would you call me that you know it's up to me if was there like a conversation that went on to where you guys were like oh we're gonna kiss at the end and then you were like no i don't want to do that, that. And conversation then he said if faith wasn't being a pussy that conversation was all the day prior okay. it was literally oh, yeah. just tommy saying what's your guys's idea and then he what's just the viral made moment? a yeah. shit remark basically for no reason so was there any video of your guys's conversation of bryce saying if faith wasn't being a pussy everybody gets caught from it no that's why i was upset with tommy for not just coming forward and right. saying what he heard because it's like that could clear up everything that's when you said fuck you tommy in that tiktok it was because tommy yeah. wasn't coming out and taking a side he wanted to stay neutral the entire time mm -hmm. yep what was your reaction when you saw bryce post that stitch and then just put a video of you shaking your ass misogyny misogyny <laughs> yeah it just made him look even more stupid the content that i post doesn't have anything to do with what you're allowed to say or do to me if you think that you could handle the situation again, would you have taken it to social media or would you have tried to work everything out without? Maybe if it wasn't Bryce, then I would probably not take it to the internet. Like if I, if it was somebody that would actually clear things up or just not say it to begin with. Then. If it happened to another girl who maybe doesn't have like the following that you have and doesn't have the voice and the support as you have, probably would have been kind of brushed under and no yeah. one really thought about it. But yeah. it's getting picked up and people care mm -hmm. because also like, you you know, you, people know who you are. Yeah. After I cleared everything up and basically gave them the facts, um, which I did in my TikTok video, now I don't care. I don't care if people side with him because I literally debunked everything that he said and I explained like he didn't answer anything. I called him out 
for a reason. And yeah. all he did was basically just try to, I don't know, defy my character, <laughs> like on the internet. So. Yeah. 